Josh, why don't you introduce yourself and then your role at Nelson yeah. Elder Care Law? So I'm Josh Nelson, one of the owners of Nelson Elder Care Law, a practicing attorney, have a master's in tax, and where we really excel is helping people get thorough and complete estate plans and guiding mm -hmm. them through the process. So it's called elder law. It's a little bit of a misnomer. What it is is really helping people structure the end of their life, the last few years, focusing a lot on cognitive impairment, Parkinson's, ALS, kind of those big diagnoses that we're all scared about. And as we've grown over the years, making sure that we're helping people prepare before they get those diagnoses. So how do we help people in their like, you know, mid fifties all the way up rather than just helping people in their seventies or whenever they get those crazy diagnoses. Absolutely. Well, wonderful. Well, in full disclosure, my we're entering our fifties, but our parents are entering their seventies and my in-laws, we just took them through their, your entire process due to a diagnosis like that. And it was, it was wonderful. So share a little bit and then, and to speak to what you said about people in their fifties doing it, it's Sparta to take a look at that in the new year. And I'm married to an attorney and he can't <laughs> do it. That is not in his, his knowledge base. So we're so glad you've got something like this available here. So let's jump into what makes your business a little different. You definitely are in a unique segment in at least our our part of the county. So one of the coolest things is we're the largest elder law firm in the entire state. But what we do is break our clients out into what we call personal planning teams. So you have a five or six person team that works specifically with you. You get a phone number that rings directly to that team whenever you call in. So the person picking up the phone always knows who you are and what's going on with your situation. We do a lot of crisis work. Like you said, unfortunately, people often put this off until there's a diagnosis. We're trying to change that a little bit, but it's a big educational barrier. Most of us go through our whole lives even knowing that we like need a will and not really understanding what it does or why we need one. And still only about 40% of adults have one. So there's a big jump from just getting a basic foundational plan into really what you need whenever you get a, a diagnosis like cognitive impairment or you're going into retirement age. So what we're doing is expanding the practice down into that area. What makes us a huge kind of unique selling proposition or a differentiator in the industry even is anytime we do something, we want to do it all the way. So we offer guarantees to make sure that you have the outcome that you're hoping for. If we're helping you in a crisis and it doesn't work out, you can get a full refund. If we go to court for something and it doesn't work out, it doesn't go your way, we offer ways to guarantee against that. But the biggest thing, the reason we can offer those guarantees is because we're doing everything on the front side. So even whenever you go buy a trust from most law firms, they kind of give you this beautiful package. You get this binder, you go home, you put it on your shelf, and that's it. And then all of a sudden something happens and you realize that it wasn't what's called funded or the trust doesn't really do what it's supposed to do. Whenever you work with our team, we actually have a funding manager team that will even go to the banks with you, make sure that you're not uncomfortable, that you fully understand everything. And while they're at the bank with you, they make sure that all those pieces work, all your bank accounts, all your stocks, all your investments, your home, your homeowner's insurance, your property taxes, everything that you can't think of, we're going to think of for you. And so I wish we had a sexier term that people think, you know, use whenever they talk about us, but it always ends up being thoroughness. Yes. Yes. Well, I can attest to that. I mean, that is, is that something that is typical for a law firm or is that something that, you know, that you integrated? Because in our experience, we did, we had someone walk us to the bank, meet us there, sit down, talk through exactly what that opening those accounts means. Because if you have a older person that is concerned about those funds that they've amassed over a lifetime and transferring those into a trust account is that how did that come to be we actually do a lot of business coaching we're part of the Scott business association we work with other business owners and one of my mentors actually talked to me one day and was like you know the traditional standard for estate planning firms is the kind of small medium large model or bronze silver gold model and it says well revocable trust, asset protection trust. And the problem with using those as the tiers is we know that most people that get a will don't recognize that you're going to have to go through probate in Georgia with your will. It's not like mom or dad passes and you take that will over to your bank and you walk out with a check. There's a six to nine month process in there that's designed to pay creditors first. And so the way that he explained it to me is if I wanted to buy my daughter a car, for example, and I go to the used car dealership 
no matter how much money I bring in, my first priority is to make sure she has a safe and reliable car. It has to do what a car does. And he convinced me right away that selling a trust without funding is like selling a car without brakes. It looks really pretty. You get in it. It starts up. It purrs like a kitten. And then all of a sudden, you don't realize that it doesn't work until you're off the lot or, in this case, out of the lawyer's you know engagement agreement. You're not dealing with the law firm anymore. And then all of a sudden you come to that stop sign and you realize, whoa, this trust doesn't do what it's supposed to do. I thought I was going to avoid probate court. I thought that mm -hmm. my assets were going to be protected. And then you find out that sometimes even the house isn't put into the trust. Sometimes you find out that the bank accounts still have to go through probate because even with us, there's bank accounts that stay out of your trust, but we put different beneficiary designations and make sure that it works as like a whole complete plan rather than just piecemeal. And that was really the the change for me. And so we actually flew out to Sacramento, talked with a guy that was doing it this way. And as far as I'm aware, we're still the only two firms in the country that really do this as a package where we send somebody to the bank with you. And it's not an add-on fee. It's all included in the price. Great, great. So as a business owner, you know, it sounds like you embrace sort of new ways of doing things. What what keeps you up at night in regards to growing your business or business problems that you're facing? Yeah, I think the, you know, we have an amazing team. We run our firm on what's called EOS or the Entrepreneurial Operating System by Gino Wickman. And that's been huge for us. We have a bunch of coaches. We have a great leadership team. And so the business itself is actually running really smooth. So the thing that keeps me up are the families that we aren't able to help. So we keep good metrics of what happens whenever families reach out to us. And what we find is that a decent percentage of people that don't hire us really don't do anything. So we follow up with surveys. We follow up with phone calls. We really want to care about these people getting a plan. And what happens is it's not like they come in, they don't sign up with us, what, and then go to another firm. What happens is they come in, don't sign up for some reason. Maybe it's a spouse that they're trying to convince. A lot of times we'll have like a wife come in and then they go home and the husband's like, ah, we don't need that, which is silly because statistically the husband's going to die first. The wife mm -hmm. just doesn't always have the leverage to get the guy in here. Or maybe it'll be a kid that comes in about their senior parent and they're trying to get mom or dad to have this conversation and they just, the mom and dad are afraid of losing power or autonomy. They mm -hmm. don't and what tends to happen because we've been doing this for over nine years and thousands of families now is those people call back whenever they're in crisis. So it's not like they went and did something somewhere else. It wasn't like they didn't like us and went and found somebody they liked. It was that they didn't have the power to move forward at that point. And then they kind of put it back on that to-do list that we all have. Mm -hmm. And that's what keeps me up at night because I think about how easy it is to get started versus the risk of not. So my biggest thing is making sure that whenever we plan for people, that they're taken care of during their life. Estate planning is usually like whenever people are dead, what happens to my stuff? Mm -hmm. How do I avoid probate? But there's tools that are really, really inexpensive, if not free in a lot of cases, like a power of attorney that allows you to help with finances or sign contracts on people's behalf, an advanced healthcare directive that allows for you to designate who in your life is going to help with medical if you can't. Mm -hmm. And so what we see a lot of, unfortunately, is what's the next step of that is somebody goes in for surgery, anesthesia messes them up. And next thing you know, we're going through a long court process that actually involves getting in front of a judge before like the daughter who wants to help can help. If we could have gotten mom or dad to just sign two pieces of paper earlier on, that daughter would have full power to pay the bills, hire caregivers, do whatever they needed with the you know, hospital, the assisted living, if that's what's in the picture. And it's all something that they could do in advance, where instead, because these people didn't take action, now the family that's trying to help them has a way harder journey. Now, we can help there too, but it's a lot more expensive, a lot more stressful. Let's talk about that cost a little bit because, you know, it's, it's a sizable cost, but not out of reach for most people that, um, you know, are, are making those plans. Is it one of those things where you're going to pay either way? So you might as well yeah, do it so, at, at that and, and save. <laughs> yeah. So one of the things that we do is kind of flat rate fee that so we don't mm -hmm. charge hourly. And by getting those flat rates, everybody knows exactly what they're going to be into. 
We don't nickel and dime you later on. If you need help later on in life, we're here as a resource for you. One of the things that I'm really excited about that we're rolling out next year is every month we're going to have different experts come on and add value to our client base as far as, you know, I don't know anything about like car insurance. You know, you go try and buy car insurance. Most of us just shop on price. How do we know the difference between the extra features? Well, then you talk to somebody that had uninsured motorists added on for six bucks and it saved their life whenever somebody hit them that didn't have insurance. So we want to add value like that to our client base. Mm -hmm. So whenever we work with somebody, you come in and you sit with a member of the legal team, we figure out where you're at in life, and then we give you a quote right there. There's no cost for the initial consultation. There's a strategy session that you actually get a lot of value out of whenever you meet with our team. And generally, most people are going to end up somewhere around a four to $6,000 range whenever they work with us. But we have payment options that are available. So if for some reason, that's not something you can come out of pocket with right away. You know, we're going to be able to work with almost any budget. And again, that's for full scale, absolutely soup to nuts, pre-planning, everything included, no nickel and dimes afterwards. Now things start a lot lower than that. You know, our, our initial price can be as low as 500 for some things, mm -hmm. but a lot of people will come in and we just find that they can go do free stuff. So we can give them some forms, you know, unfortunately sometimes children will come in and their parents are really in a spot where they, they sometimes through actions that even aren't their responsibility or their accountability, you know, they've had a divorce, they've had medical stuff, they've had bad financial choices or a job loss or something early in life, maybe a disability that happened in their, you know, 40s that right whenever we're hitting peak earning time, mm -hmm. but they just don't have it. And so we can connect them with resources like the Area Agency on Aging, the State DFACs, Department of Children and Health Services. Those things allow us to be able to give great resources that don't cost a dime. And that's one of the reasons that Cindy and I, the two owners here, have always been really, really stern on not charging for our initial strategy sessions mm -hmm. is because we do get a lot of families that need this advice. A lot of what we do is Google proof. So mm -hmm. we do a lot of veterans benefits for wartime senior veterans. We do a lot of Medicaid qualification for seniors that can't afford their health insurance or can't afford to have somebody come into their home. Caregivers are expensive in Georgia. Mm -hmm. It's like 30 bucks an hour. And so there are some government programs that can help offset that, which can actually keep people in their house rather than having to go to a nursing home. And we don't get paid on that. It's not a program that a lawyer can actually help you with but it's something that we wanna make sure the people that need that are getting it. And so that's why we're so strict on not charging for those consultations because the person that can't afford their caregiver definitely can't afford a couple hundred bucks to come in and sit down with a lawyer. So we want to just still be a big resource for the community like that. That sounds wonderful. Well, good. Well, why don't you remind us where folks can vote for you? And we're so thrilled to have you as a member of West Cobb Business Association and one of our sponsors every year for our after hours events or the luncheon. And then right here, you know, one of your offices located in West Cobb. So tell us where folks can vote and what category you're in. Yeah. So we're going to be under a state planning attorney in the best of Cobb. We appreciate your vote. We have offices right here on the corner of Dallas Highway and Barrett Parkway. Really, really excited to be a part of this community. A big thing that's helped us throughout the years is being part of the West Cobb Business Association. And so if you're a small business owner and you're thinking about getting started out there, make sure you join. It's an amazing community of other business owners. We bounce ideas off of, have a good time, and really help the community through growth. All right. Well, thanks so much, Josh. I appreciate it. Thanks, good luck. All right.